Hello everyone. In this video, we will solve a few practice sums on area and perimeter of the basic shapes which we learned in our last video. Let's do the first one. Let's write the givens. Length of the land is 500 meters and breadth is 300 meters. We know area of a rectangle is length into breadth. Replacing the values, multiplication is y threes are 15 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 zeros. And meter square, the units also get multiplied to give us meter square. And we know area is always written in the unit squares. Unit is meter and it's square, meter square. Area is 1,50,000 meter square. Now we need to know the cost of the land. And cost of the land is going to be the rate in meter square multiplied by the area in meter square. And that is going to be 1,50,000 multiplied by 10,000. 15 ones are 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, total 8 zeros. And that is rupees. Because the meter square and per meter square they get cancelled and the remains is rupees. Here the units are meter multiplied by rupees per, sorry, meter square, rupees per square meter. Meter square, meter square get cancelled and the remains is rupees. So cost of land is 150 crore rupees. Let's do the next one. Find the area of a square park whose perimeter is 320 meters. So given is perimeter of square park is 320 meters. But we know the formula for perimeter of square park. That is equal to 4 multiplied by the side, which is equal to 320 meter. And therefore, length of side is going to be 320 divided by 4, which is 80 meter. 320 divided by 4. So, side of the square park is 80 meter. Now, area of the square park. is equal to side square. The formula of the area of square is side square. We know side is 80 meter and square of that. 8 eights are 64 and when we have square, 10 turns into two zeros. So 6400 meter square. Let's do the next one. Find the breadth of a rectangular plot of land if its area is 440 meter square and the length is 22 meter, find its perimeter as well. So, rectangular plots, plots area is given as so we know area is length into breadth for a rectangular plot. And we also know area is length into breadth. And hence length into breadth is equal to 440 meter square. Length we know 22. And therefore breadth is equal to, this goes that side, it's multiplied here, goes that side, becomes divided by. 22, 1's are 22, 22, 2's are 44. So 20 and meter, meter square upon meter gives meter. So 20 meter is the breadth of rectangular plot. And because we know now L and B, we can find perimeter. Perimeter is 2 times in bracket length plus B. 
84 meters is the perimeter. Let's do the next one. The area of a square park is same as of a rectangular park. If the side of the square park is 60 meter and the length of rectangular park is 90 meter, find the breadth of the rectangular park. Let's first write the givens. And the areas are same. We know area of square park is side square and area of a rectangular park is length into breadth. S is given as 60 meters, so it is going to be 60 square. Length is given as 90. We don't know the breadth, so we'll keep it as it is. 60 square is 3600 is equal to 90 into breadth and therefore breadth is equal to this 90 goes that side divides this and that gives us 10 1091099 breadth is 40 meter i have not used the unit of measurements when i am doing calculations and hence directly written the measurement unit for breadth as meter in the answer. Let's do the next one. A wire is in the shape of a rectangle. Its length is 40 cm and breadth is 22 cm. If the same wire is rebent in the shape of a square, what will be the measure of each side? Also find which shape encloses more area. So, what we are saying is there is a wire which is already bent in the shape of a rectangle and that means length of the wire is same as perimeter of rectangle. First write givens and we know length of the wire is equal to perimeter of rectangle. is equal to 2 times in bracket length plus breadth. So length of wire is 124 meter. Now this wire is rebent into a square which means the square's perimeter is going to be equal to length of wire. Square's perimeter is 4 into side. And length of wire is 124 centimeter. And therefore, side of square is going to be 124 divided by 4, which is 31 centimeter. Now, once we know side of square, we know length and breadth of rectangle. What we can do is we can find the areas. So, let's find areas. Twenty two into forty is eight hundred and eighty centimeter square is the area of rectangle. And side of square was thirty one centimeter. Square of thirty one is nine hundred and sixty one centimeter square is the area of square. And now we can easily see that area of square is greater. I am sure you have liked the video. Hit the like button and leave your views in the comment section below. Do watch our other videos on this topic. Subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. You may also download the YouTube app at the link provided in the video description. Till we meet again, goodbye.